In this video, we will see about the data model interface, what are the options available with the data model and also we will see the query editor interface where we will see and we will get to know many details about these interfaces so that it will be helpful for us to understand more details about this tool and in the coming videos we will see more practical examples so that it will be helpful first of all let's see data model as we saw in the last video where we have three core areas for the power bi data preparation data modeling and visualization so these are the three core areas for the power bi uh, tool so first when we say about data preparation we have a data uh, query editor that we will see in a data model we will have this uh, visualizations which we have created here and also a data view and the data relationship view as well the three things visualizations data view data relationship view basically visualization will consist of all the visualizations which we are going to add as a chart different charts or tables then uh, this uh, table view is something which is available here and we, uh, we where we can see all the options available with the table view and the data and what are the things which we can do with this uh, table data relationship view is something which is not meaningful right now since it is just a one table we are having but when it comes to multiple tables and joining with the multiple tables this data relationship will uh, view uh, is very helpful where we can join different tables uh, we can specify joins uh, then their coordinates etc etc uh, when it comes to this uh, data view we can see uh, there are uh, different options available here if you click on here we can see there are uh, options available in the this home ribbon now when we say about this uh, when we click on any column we can see this column tools are available means it it, it just shows its name uh, different data type format whether to summarize or not summarize here uh, whenever it is alphabetical then it will say don't summarize because it will not able to uh, summarize just count uh, summarization we can apply for the alphabetical data for the major or the for fact values we can sum on different types like uh, average minimum maximum count and distinct so these are the things which we can apply here we can categorize as well whether it is a latitude or longitude or means if, if, if there is a any other field which is uh, we can uh, like country county postal code anything like that we can categorize and this we have seen in one of the example where we have categorized this country as a country data category there are some other options sort by columns de group data uh, which can be useful uh, when we uh, prepare the data now you can see uh, whenever we click on this uh, table there is no column tools menu available here so only thing is like this this all uh, things are interactive with each other we can see whenever we click on this uh, scale uh, the column tools options gets uh, open whenever you click on table then that gets disappeared but these are the things which we can have it in uh, when we have a table view we can add a new measure or quick measure and that can be added as a separate column here this is all about the data model in data model we can based on the different visualizations where we can uh, play with this and these are very interactive we can just uncheck this and this will be uh, unavailable here if you want means there are very formatting uh, things as well which we can do it from here there are some other things which are uh, we can do on this particular formatting so that it will look good then we do have data drill and uh, things as well where we can drill from one uh, report to other or one visualization to other that is also possible with this uh, drill through option these are all things about the data model now we will see the query editor interface to access the query editor uh, we have seen in your our previous video how to connect to the data source and then get the data and that uh, in query editor interface how we have transform our data to go back to the query editor you may have this option here in home menu transform data just click on this transform data and we will uh, get query editor interface open now you can see whenever we say this uh, query editor interface there are various steps available here and the basically applied steps is one thing which is very important here to understand means whenever we get any data like whenever we connect to any data source at the first place is it a source then how it looks like 
and then we have extracted data from uh, from the HTML and then it looks like this and then you can see there are various things which are applied here uh, that uh, there are no column names the header was something which is wrong which we have corrected and then we promoted headers now we can see this is promoted header the main interesting thing is suppose if you wanted to revert any of the step then we can just click on this cross icon here and we can just uh, once we click on this that particular step we can go there so from here we can go to the last step as well or from here to here as well and this rest of the steps if you wanted to delete we can remove it from here this is very uh, cool in terms if something goes wrong and we wanted to revert our changes uh, this is uh, we can do this is applied steps now when we see other options here on the table side a column side we do have other uh, features available here at the transform where we can uh, see uh, un unpure columns is what option where we have seen transform uh, transpose reverse rows all this we are uh, going to see in detail with the examples as well there is add column then we are, do have uh, this formula bar is one thing which is there so whatever we have done so suppose this step is one there let's say remove column so we have this formula which is here it is showing table dot remove columns and change type units to uh, units and country these two columns we have removed and that it shows here we can see this remove columns formula if you are not able to see this formula bar here just click on this formula bar uh, checkbox so that it will be uh, uh, visible there are other options about column quality, column distribution, column profile that uh, we, we, are, we are going to see in uh, detail. There is advanced editor as well where we can see some more options which are there. But this we will see it in detail later with the example so that it will be helpful and no, no need to worry about that right now. There are other options about this uh, in tools but uh, that we will see in detail later. For now, we are we just we should be just uh, aware about that uh, this table name also we can change. So if suppose there are multiple tables in a project we we are working and then we wanted to identify the table name. So first table may be financial data, the second table may be asset related data, the third table may be something location related, something like that. So that can uh, things can be done with this rename. So this is the query editor uh, which which we should be aware. There are many options where we can uh, see these things uh, like uh, we can split columns by some uh, delimiter or by some character or by positions. Uh, then we can group by uh, group by uh, options we can use where we can group the data by some uh, columns. Uh, then we can merge queries, append queries and other options available here as well. There are three options available close and apply, apply and close and depending upon the close we will uh, or do this close uh, if you just click on close it will uh, not save the changes it will just close apply will save the changes close and apply will save the changes and close as well or now uh, we will not apply any changes and we will just close and we'll come to the main um, visualizations uh, window so this is all about data model and query edit editor interface and as we go through our course we will understand more detail about this both the things uh, with the practical examples and I and I hope whatever I have explained here about the query interface and the data model is uh, somewhat useful for you. If you have any questions then please put it in the comment section and if, if you like my video then please like it and share it with others as well. Thank you for watching.